so I'm dying. I told y'all guys a long time ago I wanted to get back in, in better shape. And I was uh, going and working out. And I was doing mostly like weight training, which isn't gonna help me lose weight as much as it's gonna help me build muscle. So me and my buddy decided we wanted to join a gym and really push and really try. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting out here and I'm really trying. Today was my first day going in there and really busting my butt. I ran three miles and a lot longer than what it used to take me whenever I was in the Marine Corps, but I ran three miles. So I'm proud of that. And I climbed 50 flights of stairs. I'm proud of that too. So all that is real sweat. I didn't dump water on myself to make it look good. Obviously I'm out of breath. I'm tired. It's time to go home and get showered up. Eat some Hello Fresh. And it's not sponsored, but go eat some Hello Fresh because they're good, healthy meals and they're already pre portioned for me. So I'm gonna go home, eat. Somebody getting towed back there. I'm gonna go home, eat, shower, and then it's time to go get a full night's sleep and do it all over again tomorrow. Day two, hitting the gym. Day one of drinking a whole gallon of water. I'll tell you what, I've been peeing. And I know y'all probably don't want to hear that. Like every two minutes, or I'm not talking, every 20 minutes, not two minutes. That'd be ridiculous. But every 20 minutes, just been peeing nonstop. Got to get back in here and do it again. So I'm outside in the backyard, picking up trash for the second day. And that looks crazy anyways for the second day in a row because i have a puppy who finds everything now i have piles of stuff out here I'm trying to get all this stuff put in here i have piles of stuff out here in the backyard that are waiting to go to the dump old security cameras stuff like that um i just haven't had time to actually go to the dump and throw all of this stuff away. Well, my dog, my little puppy, has taken it upon herself to dig into these piles and chew up everything from paper to plastic to wooden dowels that were back here for whatever crazy reason. And there's just stuff everywhere. It's actually worse than I thought. Give me a second, let me get all this stuff cleaned up. Just got back inside, um, cleaned up all the mess out there. I was gonna show you guys that, but they don't wanna see me picking up trash. Either way, I kinda wanted to, to talk about something real quick. I know I do a lot of videos of me just kinda talking, and this is kinda like my way to vent. You know, this is uh, just my way to keep you guys updated on what I have going on and what I'm doing. So, obviously there's clips in here of me going to the gym and me working out. I've been going every single day. I've been drinking a gallon of water every day, trying to hydrate, flush my system out, um, just get in better shape. I was watching YouTube videos the other day because that's really all I ever watch is I'm always on YouTube. Sometimes I'll watch YouTube TV and you know I'll see what's actually on TV, but majority of the time I'm just watching YouTube videos. And I was looking at all the channels that I follow and I, I follow some of the most random things. If you looked on there, I got stuff from guns to cars to just family vlog stuff to comedy channels to just a little bit of everything on there. And I was just scrolling through and it just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. I'll click on different things. One thing that I noticed that was the common denominator for all of these channels that I watch was positivity. And I was listening to Joe Rogan's podcast the other day and he had Kevin Hart um, on the podcast and they were talking about positivity and how social media and just negative people can bring somebody down, you know, and he was talking about if he had negative people around him all the time, he would just be a negative person, but he has so many positive people around him and on his team that it's just so hard for him to be negative because he always has that drive, always has that push. And I started noticing that, that everything that I've been doing has been pushing me to be more positive and pushing me to work harder and wanting to do more with the time that I have. And I just started realizing like all these things kind of falling into place 
I mean, it could just be a crazy coincidence. Who knows? Could be happening for a reason. I don't know. Because I was listening to Dakota Myers speak the other day. And for those of you who don't know who Dakota Myers is, search him up. I mean, look him up. He is a Marine. Uh, he was awarded the Medal of Honor. Um, amazing, amazing story. So I watched his videos and I was listening to him talk. And he was talking to a group of young Marines and kind of summed up the gist was, what did you do today that makes you a Marine? Yes, you you know, you went to boot camp and you received your Eagle Globe and Anchor and you went through the process and you've been given the title of Marine, but it doesn't stop there. It's not about accomplishing one task, becoming a Marine and then saying, all right, I did it, I'm done. Now I'm just here for the paycheck. It's about doing something every day to better yourself and to better the people around you. And then in turn to better, better the organization. And I got to thinking like, what am I doing daily to better myself, you know, and the more I better myself, am I bettering the people around me? Because anybody can be selfish and better themselves. What are we doing to push the person next to you? You know, and in all reality, if I'm being 100% honest, I haven't been doing as much as I used to do. I haven't been pushing as hard as I used to do, whether that's work stuff, family stuff, personal, just any and everything in my life. I've found a comfortable place where I've just kind of been coasting. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just not me. I want more. And the more I started listening to these guys talk about what are you doing today to make you better tomorrow, I stopped and I was just like, man, I need to start doing more. So that's why I've been hitting the gym harder. I've been trying to push a little bit harder at work. My personal stuff, as far as my life, I have a daughter on the way. And I'll tell you what, that has been the hugest, hugest motivation for me to just want more for myself and for my family you know it, it, it's it's different for me knowing that that there's a little girl that's going to be looking up to me every relationship that she's going to have everything that she does in life she's going to base it off my relationship with her the way she allows people to treat her the way she allows people to speak to her the way she looks up to people um, the way she respects people I mean just everything in life is going to have to do with my relationship with her. If I have a bad relationship with her, if I'm not influential enough or if I'm not doing anything positive, she's going to think it's okay to be a negative person. And I don't want that. I got plenty of time from the time, you know, that she's born because she's not due till September. By the time that she's born until all these lessons start sinking in. But why wait till the last minute? If I start changing things as of now and I start doing things now to make tomorrow better, and show my daughter that we need to push every single day. We don't quit, you know, in anything that we do. This is how relationships are supposed to work. This is how conversations are supposed to work. It's just going to be better overall. So I know that was kind of a rant. The, the main gist of this is positivity. So I hope for you guys that when you guys watch my channels, whether it's the vlog stuff, whether it's the tactical talks, whatever it is, I hope that I can be somebody positive for you. Um, I make it a point. I don't cuss in my videos, you know, and, and for some of you that might be like, okay, big deal, who cares? But I know I have a lot of younger kids watching these videos. I have, um, you know, kids in the Explorer program who want to become police officers. Do I cuss? To be 100% honest, yes, I do. Um, I'm not necessarily proud of that fact. It's just how I talk, and I've been doing everything I can to kind of slowly change that up. But I want to be a positive influence in people's lives. I want to I want to change the way we talk to people. I want to change the way we look at people. And I mean, of course, the social media puts out an image that they want you to see. And of course, their their image and their, you know, whatever they're trying to push, their agenda, if you will, is all about getting them views. Well, obviously, I would like for you guys to watch my channel, but I'm not going to do anything over the top or give you some kind of false information just to get you to watch my channel. If you guys enjoy what I'm doing, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support. If you don't, don't watch my channel. There's people that will comment on my videos and like, oh, I watched this whole video and it was boring. Or I watched this whole video and I didn't learn any. Why did you watch the whole video? My personal opinion. I appreciate you guys that do watch. I appreciate all my subscribers. Shout out to my Patreon squad. I got some stuff coming for you guys. But if you don't like my videos, don't watch them. It's that simple. I don't know if y'all can see all of that back there. 
the sun's too bright I loaded up it took me almost an hour and a half to load all the dump pile that I had in the backyard to finally bring it out to the dump I was gonna do it tomorrow I for one I'm a procrastinator so I always say I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow I really was going to do it tomorrow though and it says it's supposed to rain from like 3 in the morning to 9 in the morning I don't know if a lot of you have driven out into the dump but it's already mushy and I mean all these trucks coming in and out they kind of pack most of it down but there's so much crap out there and they just move stuff around it's already mushy so when it rains I don't want to get stuck I don't have a four-wheel drive truck I just have a two-wheel drive truck so I was like well even though it's going to be warmer today than it is going to be tomorrow if I don't do it today it's going to be horrible tomorrow if it rains so yeah time to get rid of all of the stuff in my backyard that I don't need Last time to unload all that stuff than it did to load it all up but we got all the mess out of the backyard I got to wear a sweet vest and a hard hat and time to go home and shower I think Coco's over it today she normally likes riding with me and we go a bunch of different places together but just sitting in here doing nothing I think she's over it I gotta pay now and then time to go drop this trailer off and go home. This dog kicked the booster seat off of the back seat so that she could lay down all the way out. I would say she's lazy but it's actually pretty dang smart. Alright, so kind of the meat and potatoes of this video as far as why i made this video there was a lot of stuff throughout the last week really the week and a half i've been trying to get a lot of stuff together doing a lot of things around the house going to the dump cleaning up i've been in class there's just been so much things that i've been doing but the reason i wanted to make this video is because i will no longer be vlogging on this channel so if you guys want to see more vlogging style videos behind the scenes type of stuff Click the first link in the description and check out my new vlogging channel. It's going to be all of this type of stuff, just randomness, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, what I enjoy doing, family time, dog time, um, pregnancy updates with my wife. Like I said, the baby should be here hopefully end of August. So all of that kind of stuff is going to be on the other channel. I want to thank all of you guys for checking out this channel. And always watching my content and, and being huge supports for everything that I have going on. But I wanted to kind of separate personal and I don't want to say, you know, business because it's really not a business. But just the tactical side and all the gun content just in case for whatever reason YouTube later on down the line decides that they no longer want to allow gun stuff on YouTube. Then I have my vlogging channel to kind of fall back on. It's already pretty much established i've been getting there little by little so thank you guys for checking us out this is the last vlog for this channel but stay tuned because there's going to be more tactical stuff coming out and i'm going to try to do my best to make more videos instead of just the one tactical talks video every friday so again thank you click the link on the top of the description very first link subscribe to that channel hit that bell notification and i will see you guys either here or on the vlog channel.